Keely here with my very first process video for UK Scrap Addicts. I'm going to be creating a layout for this month's theme of sparkles. I decided straight away that I wanted to make um, a shaker and I wanted it to be quite big and full of sequins. Um, I do think that sequins ha add um, a lot of sparkle to a page. Um, so far what I've done is I've cut out um, a large snowflake cut file on my silhouette um, and then I also made that smaller and cut out um, some in white cardstock and some in this um, shimmery pink cardstock that I had in my stash. Um, I think that cardstock, the pink one, is actually probably over 10 years old so I'm quite pleased to get that one used up. Um, for the um, the shaker I'm cutting up a plastic wallet. I find this is um, great to put sequins in um, and it's not too thick and it's not too thin um, so they still can they can still move around quite freely in the packaging. Um, and I'm just going to attach that onto the back with some sellotape. I did consider stitching it on, um, but the my cardstock, once I'd cut out the, the large snowflake, seemed quite flimsy. Um, so I decided not to do that in the end and just tape the the plastic on onto the back. You can't see it anyway, so... Um, it didn't really make much difference. Um, now I'm going to pull out some of my sequins. I've gone for a few different ones. Um, oh, hang on a minute. I'm actually gluing this down, which I had to go back um, afterwards and actually use some double sided tape because the glue didn't seem to stick. Um, so I definitely recommend double-sided tape for sticking it onto the plastic um, but anyway I do pull out my sequins soon and I actually have to sort some of them out which I don't make you watch because it actually took me ages um, in this sequin mix here there's gold ones in there and I really didn't want the gold I just wanted the the rose pink and the light pink out of those so it did take me quite a while to sort through those and pick all the gold ones out. <clears throat> and I've added in some iridescent ones as well. And I just add those into the bag and tape up the top. Um, it was actually really, really simple to make. Um, and I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. Um, God, I feel so rusty. <laughs> Um, doing <laughs> a voiceover again. It's been so long since I've done a video. Um, so apologies if I'm a little bit all over the place. Uh, once I've um, put all the sequins in, I do have a play with it for quite a while. <laughs> um, it, even my daughter Dicey, which you've probably seen her little hand keep creeping in in the bottom corner pinching um, the snowflakes that I'd cut out. Um, we actually had to find them all because she um, she was doing crafts with mummy. Um, but yeah, she, um, she absolutely loved this and I had to make her a little shaker afterwards as well um, with some more sequins. Um, she loves sitting at the, the dining table when she's doing her crafts with mummy. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice. It's something that we both enjoy together. So I'm still playing around with this with this shaker. Um, it gets quite addictive, keep shaking it and you know, playing around with it. So I've done that and oh I back the behind the snowflake with just some white cardstock. Um just because once it's in my album, um I don't actually know, you know, which layout is gonna be behind it so I didn't want to be able to see any other pattern papers or if I'd done stitching on another layout I didn't want to see the back of it through my my shaker um, and I do pop this up on some foam pads just to give even more movement to the shaker um, I thought if it was going to be stuck down flat it might 
um, you know, make it stop being able to move. Um, we're just allowing that little bit of space behind it, just give it more freedom. <coughs> so I attach those onto the back. I use the um, the cut out of the snowflake just to guide me where I'm going to be putting my foam so that I didn't stick it over the, the clear areas and you can't see it through. And I'm playing again with the shaker. I actually cut a lot of me shaking it out. Um, but I am really pleased with how that turned out and I love how the pink looks popping through with all the other colours. I think it looks really pretty. The photos I'm going to be using, <coughs> excuse me, are photos of my, da uh, my daughter Darcy um, playing in the snow. When we had, um, I think it was called named The Beast from the East last year, um, we was out quite a lot playing in the snow. <coughs> And she absolutely loves the snow. Um, it was snowing a couple of days ago here and um, she actually cried because it didn't stick and she couldn't play in it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I back my photos with some more of the the shimmery pink cardstock. Um, I'm actually so pleased to use up that, that, that cardstock. It's so pretty and it was a shame that it's been sat there in my stash for so long. Um, and I don't really embellish this layout at all. I've not really used a collection or anything like that. It is just things from my stash. And I've, you know, left the the shaker to be the main focus of the layout. Um, I am back. I should have really cut this bit out because everyone knows how to back a photo. But um, I've left it, you know, most of my process in. <coughs> um, so once I've done that, I do start to decide where the snowflakes are gonna go. I do kind of have an idea already. You know, I put put something together to start with. I like to, you know, have a basic idea before I start recording a video because I think, um, you know, it can get quite boring um, watching me mess around and fiddle because I am quite indecisive when it comes to making my pages. And I think it comes down to me liking my pages to be quite minimal. I don't like to, you know, put lots and lots and fill a page, even though, you know, when others do that, it does look lovely. Um, but when I do it, it seems to just not look right. So I do mess around quite a bit to get pages how I like them. So if I have a bit of a basic idea of what I want to do beforehand, um, it really does help. I'm coming in now with some of the snowflakes and this is where I realised that Darcy had been pinching them and we had to go and find all those snowflakes, um, which um, she did help. She did help when we find the snowflakes So, and here we are, we've found them. <laughs> um, so I'm putting them kind of where I had them before. Um, but um, yeah. I am putting them exactly where I had them before and I decided to put some of the white ones over the top of the pink um, which I think looks really nice which I do um, shortly which it cuts off because I was I thought I'd press record and I hadn't and then when I pressed to stop recording I actually started recording and recorded a video of me cleaning my desk um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get um, some very old Stickles um, glitter glue and now uh, this has been in, again in my stash for probably about 10 years and it still works I was quite surprised that it still works so I was really pleased about that um, and what I do with the white snowflakes just to add a little a little more sparkle to my layout um, I use this um, Stickles uh, glitter glue. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's actually called Icicles, I think. And I just put that on top and um, leave that to dry, which I've brought those in here. As you can see as well, I've already added my title, which is Snow Cute, which I think is absolutely perfect for these photos. And um, the, <laughs> these um, alphas was actually my inspiration for my colour scheme. We got these in our Mind the Scrap February kit, I think. And um, I just absolutely love these stickers. They're absolutely gorgeous. 
I think they're from the um, new Amy Tan collection. Um, and yeah, so that's where my colour scheme for this came from, as well as Darcy's hat in the, the photos. I thought they worked perfectly together. Um, so yeah, my layout's nearly finished now and um, there'll be some close-ups coming up. Thank you everyone for watching and please do go on to the UK Scrap Addicts um, Facebook page and join in with some sparkly layouts too.